Oh, they found him. And that's going to be a one-shot kill on both sides. And it's, that one's going to die, too. It's not gonna, is it going to get it off in time? Oh, traded! <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. Alrighty, guys. It's Matt Does Games, and I am back with the finale to call yourself the king of the noobs. And as you know, um, this this tournament will go for two games. So you're going to play as NATO one side, pack the other side, and this is a 2v2. So it's a very, very important game, each game is, because if you get a total victory, you get three points. If you get a major victory, you get two. And if you get a minor victory, you get one. You can also draw. So even if a team won by less than 200 points, that actually would be a draw, and both teams would be at zero. So it's a very big deal, because if you get your total victory, your margin of error is so much smaller going into the next game. But yes, this is going to be an exciting, exciting game. We have Toucan and Tog versus Taurus and Fear, the two people who beat all the others to get to this moment, to be at this moment. It's beautiful. Anyways, let's jump into the game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I really do hope you enjoy it. I think it is going to be an absolute blast, but let's do it. So as you can see, Fear is trying to start off the bat strong with an Alpha Jet, a Napalm. Let's see if he gets a shot off. Looks like he's playing as the Panzer Division. He does drop his payload, but just a little too late or too early, depending on how you look at the glass. And then it seems like uh, Tog sent some infantry forward, not expecting any type of resistance. And these guys are getting hit hard right now. They need to get, get him. He gets them out. And they do just in time get to this. And there are, this is already popping off. Nothing going on over there yet. And Fear doing what Fear likes to do, which is sending his sneaky, sneaky transports to their deaths. Commander's just like, hey, keep going forward. If you die, you die. <laughs> Tog did get some recon up in here, and he is sending that Fear, uh, Fear, that Jaeger unit. And I said, Tog, geez, okay, Matt, words. Fear? His units are just getting peppered right now by most everybody, and they're in heaven now. Or hell, depending on, you know, who they are. We do have some M M1 Abrams getting in a fight with a T-80B. That guy's shooting out, and it just peters off. Gets out of sight lines. And these people are fighting right next to the church. Fire's all next to it. Nothing sacred. We do have an M... We have an AA... Trying to blow up this cluster. I think it might. Oh, but we got another Falcon trying to save him. The cluster's like, he's right on my six. He's like, I got you, Red Five. And then all of a sudden, the M3 one's like, Nani? And it gets blown up. Look at this. Insane amount of infantry here. Absolutely crazy. That was wild. This man over here, as you can see, the cluster's flying overhead. Is he dropping off anything? I think he's out of ammo, so now they're just flying back home. Let's go back over to this side. Kind of quiet, but Toucan is doing what he likes to do best, which is building hopping. You can see those units are now in the church fighting. Right next to those mech rifles. They've got them in a... They got them somewhat surrounded, and now he has a front line that is... a. Uh, Kind of taking control of that mid side, middle of the city, and it looks like Fear. Looks like Fear did find his uh, command unit, and then, gosh, Tog found the command unit. My goodness. Sorry, guys, I'm drunk. <laughs> and here comes Captain Toucan with a HE unit. I think this guy's aiming for that command unit right over there. Here it comes. And that is a solid, solid hit. And as that's happening, let's see, because I think I just saw talk. Yep, and then Fear is having to back away, essentially giving them that area. But as that happened, it looks like they took damage somehow, and I'm not sure from where, because I don't see any planes. Unless it was those guys. But now they're pushing back. They're like, we're free. It's crazy, whenever I zoom in, my like computer is, like starts to like die slowly. Look at that, though. Look at all that infantry. Any hoozle. Oh, we do have some uh, Falcons flying by. 
Tog was able to break that line, but he did just... My gosh, man. All right, this is this is going to be a meme about me messing up names. Taurus? You guys have too many T's, man. There's two can. There's Taurus. I realize that's only two. We have a Falcon that just killed some recon units. And then uh, Taurus is moving back. He's in one Abrams. He, he is uh, put, landing his helicopters so they can kind of reconvene here. And now, hold on. Tog? T-O-G-G? is uh, sending his MiGs to kind of see if there's any... He, he's actually pretty close to seeing that helicopter, and if he keeps them flying around, he'll probably blow them up. Let's see. So it looks like, from what I can tell, Toucan is trying to do an area of denial here, essentially saying, okay, well, you're going to be able to hold this, but if you want to move forward to Delta, you're going to have to go somewhere else, essentially trying to block, make a perimeter in some sense. Looks like uh, Tog... <laughs> did find his AA, but those engineers are maybe the Jaeger. The Jaegers might have done it. And he's having to move his units because now he's like, oh no, he sees me. He's going to try and blow me up. And we are, we do have some helicopters doing some shooting. They found these uh, infantry units over here. I don't know what he's firing at, but his missiles are not landing. That's for certain. You know what's interesting is I don't see any artillery yet. And honestly, I don't even like artillery because if you watch my last episode, they were just peppering a Leopard 2A3 and it was just looking at it like and missiles were hitting it and it was just like oh were you hitting me it's like oh that hurts so bad please stop stop it and then he like really didn't want you to stop apparently anyways what am I doing <laughs> I'm just having a good time I'm just vibing so Vera has a lot of these engineers here but it's a blow up that BMP if they really want to they got to get like right up in their butthole and he's also just sending these poor guys to their death look at all these units like get on them but now fear is like, haha, I know where you are. It's like that meme where like some of you may die, but that's the risk I'm willing to make. Some of you may die. That's the risk I'm willing to make. I can't shoot. I can't figure out where I want to look. These guys are trying to fight for their lives to protect. Trying to see if anything's going on. It looks like he is. Taurus does have a, a falcon here. But these guys are trying to protect the uh, command vehicles with their lives. And then Fear is doing a pronged attack that's supported by infantry and tanks. And this M1 Abrams is going to be able to do some damage here. Oh, but look, he's got his uh, Toucan sitting a C to see if he can find any anti air. These tanks are going to get, this tank's going to get hard. It's too close. He needs to back him out. Because those uh, Motostrekis will blow him up. And they do. And then as that's happening, an AA comes in to take out the helicopter as well. And now he's spinning in circles. Spinning in circles, completely confused. The Stingers are trying to blow up that seed, and it's gotten nothing of it. Oh, just as I look away, there is a cluster strike because he did get eyes on them. And that was a really good one, but unfortunately, it also led to his death. But from what I can tell from Fear, he really doesn't care if his units die. <laughs> just kidding, Fear. But, I mean, you did also send, like, your units totally to their death. Mainly these guys. I mean, who cares about them, right? I'm not the one that's going to have to write the letters to their mothers and fathers. So it does look like uh, Toucan and Tog do have a foothold now on the center, so that's going to start giving them an advantage. And then if they can, if Toucan can manage to push forward, but I don't know if he's going to be able to with this type of defense. But now it looks like uh, Toucan and Tog are starting to make the difference here. But this is the big difference here, though. Remember last time, no one could get a... It would, always, it would be one person holds this, and one person holds this. But now it's kind of mid, but then who has the middle? So it's a, it's a free three points. And then we do have this HE unit. Is it going to do another snipe? Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. No, it looks like it's not, but it's going to aim for these units, I think. And it was a solid strike. Oh, my gosh. That's just not even fair. That is not even fair. We do have a really cool uh, fight going on over here. He's in, oh, that took out those units quick. Anything going on over there? Nope. And they're moving forward. They're about to run into these Motostrekis. They, sh they just can't see him on the rubble. And neither can the Motostrekis. They're just hiding. They're like, I'm scared. Mech rifles are moving up. They're about to see him. They're soon, and they might. Anyways, let me uh, stop zooming in so much. We do have another cluster coming in from Tog. It's gonna drop right on those. I think Tog was just like, all right, I'm annoyed by your units. I'm killing them. Kind of a waste of a payload, but this is gonna hurt. And it did. 
Took out one of their infantry tanks, and then these guys should get a side shot. They can't see anything. They are blind as a bat. There they go. Now they'll get a side shot and kill it and miss because the mech rifles managed to save that tank's life. That tank's like, I owe you everything. And here comes the AA from TOG. Just three AAs just completely killing any type of air attack that Taurus and... Uh, what was the other guy's name? Fear? Yeah. Taurus and Fear can handle. All right, no, there's three Ts. What am I saying? There's Taurus, there's Toucan, and there's Tog. That's really difficult. I'm just being set up with, for failure with these teams, and I have to do another cast with this. How am I supposed to work in these conditions? Anyways, now we're about, now it's going differently because, well, it was for about half a second. <laughs> Looks like this, there's a really big uh, tug of war going on, and man, Tog and Toucan are just not messing around with that air support. And the thing is, they're able to keep him alive. Oh, and because, you know, Toucan was like, oh, hey, good job with that airstrike. What if I hit him again? Just out of disrespect. And they're going to hit right on the top. And they managed to find the BRDM, but they get hit. And then now, out of desperation, F-16 is like, I'm going to try and blow you up. And then he get that's another one down. They're, they're, they have to be running out of air here. And we'll see if my game crashes, because this is where it happens. I'm trying not to zoom in. <laughs> Please don't crash. Anyways, that's terrible commentary. Okay, so one thing, Fear needs to change his direction on his tank. I think he's doing it slightly, but he's basically, there you go. You don't want to have your tank facing with a side shot. But this infantry, even with these uh, pivats, they are wrecking them, completely surrounded. And here comes an HE, because there's nothing they can do to stop these planes. They keep surviving. I don't even think it dropped anything off. Oh, it did. Oh, well, that was a good shot. And the HE survives. Even though they didn't kill that HE, that HE is going to be out of commission for quite some time now. Looking over here, a really big stalemate going on right now. There's just not much uh, movement here for good reason because you really can't have that much movement. We do see that Captain Toucan is sending in some BMPs. It looks like Taurus is going to try and do some sort of a push, but he did just expose. And if, if anyone saw him, they might have not. But the moment you know that they have some, uh, I can just see the clusters on their uh, queue right now. I do hear a plane. It looks like Fear does have a cluster left. Can't have that many though, because he's lost a lot. These engineers are just not going to be able to do a lot against that tank. I mean, unless they want to discreet Leroy Jenkins it. And these tanks are going to get wrecked by that T-80. But they do find the command vehicle and they kill it. So this is going to give Taurus and Fear an advantage. But once that T-80 finds those tanks, I think it's going to take out both of them. And then this infantry division, or unit, is moving up, and Tog doesn't have any infantry in here, so they could make a big difference. If they push hard fast enough, they could get a full advantage on pretty much everything. And then now they're taking the center, so that's going to put them at a strong plus three. I think, I think Toucan is up to something, because he... Oh, they found him. And that's going to be a one-shot kill on both sides. And it's, well, that one's going to die, too. It's not gonna, is it going to get it off in time? Oh, traded! <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. And they're getting shot at from over here. How unfortunate. And here comes the Moto Streckies. Coming in strong. And then over on this side, we have the M1 Abrams pushing back all of these anti-air units, everybody. And during this time, Tog is trying to make a difference with his with his tanks. He's got a tow missile BRDM, and he's calling in some T-80Bs because he realizes he's in trouble. And that command vehicle is going to get hit if they find it, and that's going to kill it. But I don't think they see it. I don't think I don't think they see the command vehicle, and they just kill this one off before it's going to be able to get that ATGM or the tow or whatever type of missile it has. It doesn't matter where it blows stuff up. And this is really intense, guys. I mean, we're at a plus three right now. But there's still a lot of time. This infantry gets caught by a T-80B, and it's focusing on the infantry, which is smart. You need to move... Taurus, you got to move that anti-air back. Camp 2 can pops a smoke screen. Another good move. There is no support for this M60A3. He's got to... you got to call on something fast. Because they're going to overrun it once they find out. These M1 Abrams are in trouble. 
Can that tank, can it get one more shot before it's going to get knocked out? I think it will. Oh, almost another trade. He needs to re reverse him out of there and get some logistics. Fear doing what fear does best. And this cluster will finish off that tank. Goodbye, tank. You'll be remembered. I'll always love you. I will remember you. Anyways. So this infantry with well, these engineers are going for that BRM, but... Because they have satchels, they're gonna have to like get really up close. This battle is really cool to see. I know it's like, Matt, nothing's happening, but it's like a slow and methodical push. And uh oh, you better hope that, you better hope that recon unit can't see. Oh, uh, what, 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 what do you know? What do you freaking know? Big surprise here. Oh, another one. Just out of the disrespect, he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna send another one. I, I wanna be surprised that there's four more planes. The moment that recon found it, he was like drop and uh, what three? Oh my gosh oh get out of there oh man we got another one coming in oh boy absolute mayhem goodness jeez and some more planes coming in dude what is this is this straight air superiority is that thing gonna make it in time Oh, man. Insanity. Tog, all he has to do is just push that up. But they're at a plus five now. Taurus and Fear are making a strong, strong fight at this moment. But as you can see, like Toucan and Tog, they have the air superiority. And air can change a battle. Anytime Fear or Taurus send out their planes, it's like they get shot down instantly. And as you can see, they realize this, so now you're starting to see all this anti-air fly around. Man, I am so good at broadcasting. Sorry. You're like, Matt, shut up. Shut up. Taurus is uh, reversing his tank here. These mech rifles are hiding in the trees, and there is a big push about to happen right here. Holy moly. And we do have a cluster. He's guessing, and he's probably going to guess correctly. Here it comes. Ouch. That is no bueno. Not enough resistance. They need to stop with all this infantry here. This is strong enough. They need to move these guys up in the trees. This is going to do some damage. He is calling in a cluster strike. He, he did get a solid hit, but now, unfortunately, he loses another plane. This is really hurting them. But they, they do manage to take out that command vehicle. But this is going to change the tide of the battle right here. He moves it out of the way. I think this is going to miss. It might do some friendly fire. Oh, and it doesn't. A double kill. Double kill. Planes are blowing up everywhere. This is absolute insanity. This is a big push. Taurus has to take this, and Toucan knows it. If they can take this and hold this, I think they'll be at a plus one advantage, or plus two. They are waiting. Toucan's like, I'm waiting right here to see what to do with this infantry. Stop looking at that. I'm afraid to zoom in because I don't want my game to crash after doing this <laughs> for this far. But I want to look at the pretty visuals. So uh, Taurus in a very... I think he's just like scared to even have him back there because at some point they're going to have like five planes and they're just going to like, alright, you bomb this corner, I bomb this corner, I bomb right here, and you bomb right there. So Fear has made an incredible, incredible push. To go from all the way from here all the way to there. Very impressive. Toucan would be proud. <laughs> he has a very strong foothold, but also he has all these guys in the trees in one HE shot. And as you can see, Tog is finally like, all right, it's time. It's time to bring the artillery. He's having to push back all the way over here. At this point in time, something that Captain Toucan likes to do, and you're noticing it, is he's like, all right, I think it might be, is it, is it Spetsnaz time? <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I I'm I haven't watched I because I haven't made it this far. I wasn't even looking, and I look back, and what do I see? I knew it. When he takes this, he loves to get his spetsnaz, and I turn around. I can't, I can't believe I called that. That is amazing. Let's see if it works out for him. If I ever play against you two, can I'll be like, he took the center. Watch out for spetsnaz. Get your AA in the back. He's gonna attack any moment now. Oh, that's hilarious. I can't believe I saw that. That is amazing. 
This poor mech rifle unit just utterly surrounded right now. These guys see somebody. Oh, they oh they see the tank. Oh no, they see the they see the command tank. Uh oh, Terrace, what you doing? Oh no, oh no, not good. Very not good. Very not good. You better get out of there. Yeah. That was close. Man, maybe I'm like too into it. Right, man. Um, what drugs are you on? Because I want them. Where the, where's that Spetsnaz? There it is. He's going all the way around. Somehow, just out of the sheer, like, just luck, manages to not get seen by any freaking recon. How lucky is that? And somehow, Taurus still has a cluster strike. There's still 20 minutes left, and now they're not at a plus one advantage. And you can see that Fear, actually, it looks like he's been waiting to call this in. They need to not push just yet. Don't do it, Taurus. Because you can see he still has all these BMPs. These guys are going to be great for cover. And it does look like this M1, uh, 13A3 does spot them. And I imagine these guys do too. These Spetsnaz are going to have to land in open ground. And they're going to be in a little bit of trouble. And those mech rifles should be able to take out that Spetsnaz. So that uh, sneaky, sneaky uh, fight looks like it was all for naught. Another uh, another drop. He does have another unit in here, so he actually can't afford to use this. It's an expensive unit, but it's also a very, very good unit. So they're uh, not to be trifled with. It does look like this Spetsnaz is in a little bit of trouble. They're like, oh no, Terry's dead. And we do have an awesome, awesome infantry push here. I love this game. So... Fear now has this sector. Tog um, is not going to be able to take that back. And this AA kills them, but... Oh, okay. I see. So, they don't take damage if the plane doesn't land on them. If the plane lands on them, they take damage. Fall damage doesn't exist in this game. Oh, man. So, Taurus is in a bit of trouble here. His infantry unit is under attack, and he has no support. Is he calling in anybody? He's calling in a few, but it's not going to be enough. He's also doing a desperation play, trying to get some arrow rifles to see if they can get anything going. This is looking like the this is looking like the tide has turned, with Captain Toucan uh, kind of pushing all of this on his side, and now he's bringing in his HE. He has been completely uncontested. There's nothing they can do to stop their air. It seems. He's dropping something. I think he found these engineers, and that's going to be an instant kill. Yep. The only thing I could think to do is, like, put some freaking AA dudes in here. Just have them chill. <laughs> At that point, because I'm not even sure. Land your units! Land them! Um, so they are starting to bring some infantry through here. It looks like, while I was being stupid, uh, his command tank was killed. There are all these arrow rifles versus these motostrekis, but they're being assisted by BMPs, and these BMPs are wrecking this tank here. And I think they're going to kill the tank. Oh man, what a loss that is, and a motostrekis going to get right behind him, just get the killing below. This other one does see the motostrekis here. As you can see, this is a big, big push. This is really important. These Spetsnaz are still alive, and I think... I honestly thought, whoa, look at this. They're like, we've had enough. And somehow they just, they just keep on surviving. Oh, come on, get them. I'm cheering for you at this point. Tog is making a little push with his tanks, but I don't think that's going to be enough. There is a napalm strike. Now that's going to be pretty powerful, but it's not enough to kill. I'm starting to wonder if napalm's really the way to go or if it's HE. Just looking at those SUs, getting those strong AT hits, um, HE hits. And we do have another cluster coming in, and these tanks are moving forward. Three tanks, cluster strike. Let's move over here so we can kind of get a good, good view. T-80B, look at all these tanks flying in. The Falcon gets them, finally, revenge. He flies off the world. Clusters flying in everywhere. The tanks are making their push. They're pressing on. 
look at all this infantry. Does he have any type of clusters or HE? And here comes the, here comes the big big push. This might this might change it if they can make the, if they can make it in time. You have this M1 Abrams right next to these T80Bs, but they have no clue. They're surrounded by all of these engineers. But once again, those engineers aren't going to really be able to do anything unless they can get close. And here comes the arrow rifles. M1 Abrams, is that going to get it? Oh, wow, just misses. That could have been really bad. Captain Toucan bringing in some good units. Very strong tanks. They're going to have a very hard time stopping that. And as you can see, Taurus is like, I've had enough of you. But this is where it all matters. This is the biggest part. I mean, obviously that matters. This one, not so much. Tog looks like he's preparing a very big assault and has decided that he's going to be in artillery. Fear doing what fear does best, sending in units to die that don't matter. But these arrow rifles are destroying these BMPs, and it doesn't look like there's any tanks. But Toucan does have those T-80Us. Sending in the seeds to see if they can find any anti-air. These three T-80Us are just raining hellfire. That tank's got to get out of there. And that tank is in trouble for some reason. Oh, they, he brought in this as BRDM, changing the... Changing it from... Uh, oh my gosh, man. Taurus. Too many Ts from taking control. Very strong infantry push. Great teamwork here, guys. Have these people go from the front, have the other ones go on the hill. And they're firing in. They're pretty exposed there, but they do take it out. These mech rifles are no joke. Those those three M249s and having a sack blows, you'd be crazy not to use those guys. The uh, M60A3 is an is a anti-infantry tank, I believe. If I'm wrong, you can sue me. And it's doing a good job doing it. If he moves up these units ever so slightly, he would come across these guys. And look at this, tanks moving from one side, helicopters moving from the other. But the T-80U is going to take out those tanks, or the T-80Bs. Helicopters crashing down, the arrow rifles are trying to get a side shot, and they just might. Another big push over here in the center. There is so much going on, I don't even know where to look. see he's got fear sitting in some mech rifles and then here comes fear with the command vehicle tank to try and change the tide if he gets him right there they'll be at a plus two advantage this push did was costly but they were able to take out one of the t-80s i think these arrow rifles might be able to pull this off and kill that motostrucky then after this if they could move forward do they have any they have laws and sacklos they could move forward Taurus uh, feeling confident since in his command vehicle. Somehow Tog is able to get these tanks all the way around. And he's just going to blow up that. The thing is, Beer needs to pay attention to this because they're about to find his command vehicle. And he has all this infantry not guarding it. And I don't think they see it. He's about to. They're at a plus five advantage, but not for long because that command vehicle is in a lot of trouble. Will this A-10 be able to do anything? And they're able to take this. They take out that command vehicle. I feel like I'm missing so much. Oh, man. What just blew that up? Oh, a recon helicopter. They got to hurry. Here comes the Cobra. Oh, this isn't good. You better call in another command vehicle because this is going to put you down to a plus three and they get it. And here comes the Tow Cobra. So Tog with a very, very sneaky play. And this is another reason, guys, why you want to make sure you have your perimeter secured. You might think, oh, I've got it, but this entire road, nobody. This Tow Cobra will be able to do a difference because he has no anti-air besides his anti-planes. But they're still at a plus three. This is going to go down to the wire, guys. And there goes that Abrams getting completely destroyed. Once again, they're in a pretty... Oh, no. Tar is disconnected. What does this mean? Was this supposed to happen? Did he send me the wrong one? Well, Taurus has been disconnected, so I don't know if the game's even going to keep going at this point. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well. Man, this is a good game, too. <laughs> well, anyways, I guess we'll see what happens now. I'm not really sure what that means, but they're sending in a lot of command. Now I think he's just being silly. 
That recon unit's still alive. And then Tog is sending in his tanks in through the center. And now they're doing a mad dash. Because now they're just fighting against AI in fear, unfortunately. Ah, man. And they were doing so well, I think, I think they would have won this one, too. But I don't know, the push was really changing. But now Captain Toucan and Tog, I think, uh, had a little bit of miscommunication and sent two command vehicles. He's got these tanks in the center right here. Let's see, it looks like he's sitting in another cluster, but I'm pretty sure he's all out of anything that could blow anything up. Yeah, he just has air to air. And then now there is no advantage at this point in time. And now it's a plus three advantage. So this is pretty unfortunate because Taurus has uh, been disconnected now, so now it's the PC playing. Talk about unfortunate. And uh, the PC, the the AI being as smart as it is, is like, you know, I'm going to move out and uh, completely go away from that. I do wonder if they're going to do a replay of this or if they're going to keep playing this. I'm not really sure. Let me see. So there is three more minutes left. Oops. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I'll have to double check with that and see if that was uh, what happened. But it's unfortunate either way. I mean, I guess if you made it this far, you kind of have to play it through. But Fear is going to kill these T-80BVs. And hopefully he's going to be able to get a command vehicle in there. And he does. So that's going to... Wow, they're at a plus seven. Holy crap. Because now, doing what... Hey, Taurus is actually, you know, his AI is doing a good job. Hopefully he gets out and... Nope, he's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is so unfortunate. And then Taurus' uh, AI is just bum-rushing the uh, enemies. And Tog and Toucan are like, I'm not even sure how to feel about this. Like, this just feels wrong. Fear is full of sadness. And Captain Toucan was able to push forward. I mean, this is the video they sent me, so I guess we're going to go with it. Man, poor Taurus. That's such a shame. Seven minutes left at a plus five. Yeah, they'll eclipse him. Planes blowing up still. Well, that's not a plane, that's artillery. Yeah, fear is sitting there. Now this is going to take away that advantage. Putting him back at a, a plus seven, it looks like. Fear is like, I have so much to focus on now. This is impossible. Taurus's AI is sending a stinger of all things to face some tanks. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, guys. He is sending an M1 Abrams. So that's good. And then Fear is just trying to figure something out. As you can see, the time... The team score is just not in their favor. That really stinks because if he wouldn't have disconnected, um, I think they might have won this game, or maybe, but I don't know. I mean, they had a lot left. Uh, and with the amount of losses that Taurus and uh, Fear took on, I just don't know if uh, they would have been able to sustain it anyways. With all this A, though, there's no way that thing makes it out right. You would hope not. Goodness. Oh, come on. He survives. HE unit makes it out, kills all the units there, and they're just dropping clusters on clusters. So much death. Taurus just has his M3A1 Bradley. Yeah, and they end the game. So, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Um, technically, it's a minor defeat and a minor victory for Captain Tog and Toucan. Uh, I'd, I'd almost consider that a draw and call it zero. Um, so I think that's the route they're going to go with it. Um, but as you can see, it was a very, very close match. A very weird ending due to a disconnection. But this team is very, very um, close in skill level, as you can tell. And they're definitely both worthy of getting king of the noobs. But what I'm going to do, since I'm the person casting this and I call the rules, we're going to call that a draw. So it's going to be a 0-0 zero, zero draw. And either way, I don't think it, I think it would have been a draw because we do have a rule that you have to have a certain amount of points uh, for you to even win. 
And just the way that that game was going, I think it would have gone that way, and it would have been very close to just even being a draw. So we're going to call it 0-0. Sorry for the disconnection there, but either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm going to add Fear because I haven't added him yet. <laughs> sure, why not? And I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I had a blast casting this. Let me know what you guys think about it. Very sorry for the disconnection, but the, ne but the next game, I can tell you, because we actually watched it live, I can tell you without a doubt it is one of the best games of Warno I've ever seen. Goes down to the absolute wire. I'm not even kidding. The last minute matters. So you guys will really like the next video, and I will see you in the next one.